Welcome back, everyone. So the EU has reached an agreement on Greece, but how does it intend to help rebuild Greece's ruined economy? Well, the markets want details. I'm Francine Lacco reporting live from the crunch EU summit here in Brussels. Well, joining me now to assess what is the likely economic roadmap agreed for Greece as a former economist at the European Commission and now chief economist at ING Belgium, Karsten Bretzky and Bloomberg's very own Simon Kennedy. Thank you uh, to you both for, for braving the cold, first of all. But it does seem that the markets are not seeing the detail that we wanted. Karsten, let me kick it off with you. Did were you expecting or hoping for something a little bit better than a very vague agreement, which President Sarkozy says actually he doesn't want to go into the details? No, I think the only thing we could expect was this political commitment, not, nothing more. Because otherwise it would have been moral hazard, it would have been a, a wrong sign to all the other countries which now have to do the consolidation. That's it. So that was the, the, the farthest they could go. But so markets maybe, Simon, got ahead of themselves a little bit over the last couple of days. Absolutely. The last couple of days we saw very much this build-up of uh, a rescue package coming, a rescue package coming. Today, um, markets are still not pretty uh, pretty unmoved by, by the announcement. I suspect in coming days that we'll see this, this demand for the details. Policymakers throughout this crisis have very often come to the forefront and, and given a broad outline and the market said that's fine for a day but we need details. Certainly we might get those next week with the European finance ministers when they return here but uh, for the moment uh, nothing forthcoming beyond this uh, backstop if you will that will stand behind Greece if needed. And now Kirsten there is talk about a possible lifeline being thrown or some kind of European fund. Does this seem something that's suitable? Do we need to hear more details and do you believe that we we need to have the detail in the next couple of days. Um, I, I think, of course, to calm down markets, it would be suitable, but I don't think that we're going to get it. Um, we, we will have really, the, the, they will, the best thing you can have right now is the markets in the, in the neck of the Greek government, because the Greek government needs to do the work. They need to do the budgetary consolidation. They need to start the reforms. And, and this is what the, what the leaders today told us. Does it mean that Greece can do it? Because a lot of investors were possibly concerned that actually the EU today was going to ask for more cuts, stronger cuts, faster cuts, and it seems that actually Greece has the government of, has the backing of the EU. We, we, we saw a little hint actually from the leaders today that there might be additional measures needed. They said it's now up to the Commission to follow it, and they could check together with the ECB and maybe together with the IMF whether these are all the measures that are necessary. Maybe we need more. And we're just hearing actually that the news conference inside is just wrapping up at this very second. The uh, EC uh, president, uh, Mr. Barroso, saying that actually he saw quite a lot of solidarity in the meeting today. What does that mean? I guess it means that they're standing behind Greece, that they want to kind of give the signal to the market of, of don't test us, test Greece, work on Greece and, and keep the pressure on Greece. But perhaps relieve it a little bit, give Greece room to deliver this uh, fiscal tightening that they're promising and that we've continued to see for all the, these last couple of weeks, the, 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 the Prime Minister, the Finance Minister saying we don't want financial aid, we get the message from the markets, we're working on it. And I think today what you saw was the attempt by uh, policymakers to stay, we, to say we stand behind Greece, we're not going to tell you exactly how we stand behind Greece, but we're there. So don't test us, don't push us, because we have the power to, uh, to really you know, mess with the market trading um, in the hope that it brings the spreads in a little, it keeps Greece under pressure to act, and that this gets them through this, uh, this rough time in the market. Now, what role does the European Central Bank and the IMF have to play in all this? So it's kind of steering them in, in the right direction? I guess they're the headmasters, the school principals. They're going to be looking over the shoulders of, of Greece. And to some extent, that might be as, as far as, as Greece is willing to accept from a democratic purpose, but also from a, a purpose of pride. They're not going to have the IMF, they're going to have the ECB looking over their shoulder and say, no, that number's wrong, that number's wrong. Uh, you've got to do more here, you've got to do more there. That's what we, we suspect is, is coming out from the, the role of the ECB and uh, the IMF. Carsten, in, in 20 seconds, a unified Europe we saw today with a strong message. Um, yeah, with a very strong message. Do not underestimate the political capital which governments have put into this project so far. All right, thank you so much to you both. Uh, so a, a really a strong message, possibly a little detail, but certainly the EU trying to throw its weight around in telling uh, possibly the markets don't mess with us.